Hey kids, you're about to listen to a comedy podcast. That means that all of this is medical advice. If you need medical advice or medical care, please contact your doctor. Welcome to the Jock Doc Podcast featuring Dr. London Smith. The podcast that has a true appreciation for all of its employees and isn't afraid to show it every once in a while. Introducing your host, Dr. London Smith. Hello, and welcome to the Jock Doc Podcast, where we discuss fitness and health, and how to incorporate our modern understanding of science and medicine into our daily lives, but without it being so boring. I'm your host, Dr. London Smith. I'd like to begin by apologizing to our listeners. We have received some feedback about the excessive amount of technical medical terms that I've been using, such as anti-Joe 1 antibodies and head in the clouds swatting at planes. So I'll try to temper my terminology to a simpler one in the future. Here to help with that is our producer, Cameron. Dr. London, it is Labor Day, which is a very important day for like, yes, okay, are we working on Labor Day? Yeah, sure. Because me and Dr. London put in 110%. But did we give the day off to our employees? We're working on that. We are we are laboring. We're working on that. We're still figuring out we're doing the paperwork for that. But we thought in lieu of giving them the day off, we could maybe like praise you like, like praise some of our employees like wh- i feel like on this podcast we've been ultra negative we we are so positive in the office but sometimes we rant on the on the podcast of being like oh you know my the, you know one of the interns brought me my coffee order and it was wrong one of the interns brought my crepe order and it was wrong one of the interns is wearing a shirt that is just making me depressed and we that's on the podcast but we actually really love our employees and so i'm thinking let's let's just like each of us just back and forth pick some of our employees say something real quick nice about them yeah okay um so i guess first one that comes to mind for me and uh, sorry just to say like normally we would throw a pizza party and that's how you recognize people but uh we that's kind of too, the budget's too tight for any uh, yes. pizza parties to be thrown. That's not really, and it's also realistic. a little racially insensitive towards mm-hmm. Italian like pizza Is it maker Italian? guys. Yeah, I'm not. I we're gonna get canceled over that. I'm sure. Which yeah, and once again, we do want two hundred million dollars Spotify deal, but like within reason. I, I like and pizza's too far, obviously. Right. That's the thing. Is like we do want to get canceled so we get a huge payout from netflix and spotify but the stress of having to go to joe rogan every three weeks because he repeats guests so often that i just can't handle Mm -hmm. no it's tough and like it's it's very long recording anyway uh for this employee uh craig um we actually got a hold of our employee craig through craig's list i don't know if he runs it or just is a an enthusiast but um he's been hanging around the office and he'll just have stuff so I think it's great that Craig sometimes has, rarely has something used. Some he'll have stuff every time. Sometimes he'll have like a bicycle tire. Um, he'll he'll have a bicycle uh, bell, a uh, little little chime. Um, that's that's I guess that's the two things he's had before. That's what we want to honor him right Yay! now, just to say Yay! yes. Wow. And I would love to 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 praise Brooks Buttfinger. He um, has been really, really good at getting out of my f***ing way. Because before, when he first started, he was just in my f***ing way every single time. Every time I walked around, he was just in front of me. Brooks Buttfinger learned, after a few canings, to get out of the way. I just want to thank him for that. Just going to give him a little clap real quick. Great work. Great work. Okay. uh, And then for our sort of highest paid employee, uh, the Village Cat. Um, you've done a great job of lounging, which is like, I haven't read the terms of your contract, but, uh, from what my assistant has told me, that's part of your job. And that's, yes, I mean, great. just thank yes, you for that. Great. I want to thank Darlene Dump Truck for returning my son. My son was missing for six years and out of pure coincidence, we hired Darlene Dump Truck to... Uh, clean Dr. London's microphone because when Dr. London talks, when it's done, the, the microphone has a certain film over it. 
Yeah, uh, clump. It clumps up usually. But yes, there's a film at first. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, I, I was like, it seems like spit and mucus, but the way it clumps, the fact that it clumps up at all is G- great. Makes me think it's something else. Co- well, whatever. Well, whatever. It, it brings in work. Like, it gives someone a job, is what it does. So, yeah. like, I don't see it as a negative. I, I get that. And, but I do want to thank Darlene for returning my son. Um, and also, if you want to take him back, that is okay. He's sort of been very difficult. So he has a PS5. I only have a PS4. And so like I've been trying to play GTA Online with him, but we can't because it's like different generations of console. And so I'm like, well, why don't you just let me play on the PS5 for a little bit? Just so like, just like to feel out the graphics. And he says, no, get out of my room. And I'm like, I'm going to send you back to Darlene Dump Truck. And he's like, that's fine. I don't, I don't care. Yeah. He says, do it, do it, do it. So thank yeah. you, Darlene. Thank you, Christina. Darlene. I mean, I think that's oh, it. Great. Those are the four employees we only care about. All right, uh, Cameron, we have a sponsor today. Whoa. Yeah. No, it's, it's exciting. Uh, so we all know first impressions matter. If you're not taking care of your skin, that's going to be the first thing someone notices. They'll, they'll think you're older or bad looking, whatever. So you can make a first impression that looks good with Caldera Lab. Uh, and w- one thing we want to be clear on here, because we've gotten a lot of feedback that's confused. So if you're if you're trying to get on SNL, uh, like they're big on impressions. You like everyone who gets on it, like you, they're all about doing impressions. This is not that kind of impression. So uh, not like I don't want to say I don't think it'll make your chances worse, but just to say like this won't make you. This isn't an impression that you're putting on your face. I guess. Well, I mean, this is a big assumption of yours. We don't know. Lauren might value like quality skincare. Yeah. Okay. More than anything else. We don't I don't know that. And so I think Caldera could increase your chances on actually getting cast on SNL. Not your chances, but the listeners. Yeah, because well, cuz Lauren reached out to me personally and said like I need you to save my show. I need you to save my show. Come on, do your do your impression of Sean Connery. Because mm-hmm. everyone knows that that's very relevant. It's useful. It's now, and that that's how to bring in more viewers. So, um, and I, I'll, I guess for, for everyone here, and it's Sean Connery. But then you have to wonder, at what point does Sean Connery become Bane? And this is my phone call with Lauren. Like we discussed this. Yeah. You know, you did the darkness. I was born in, you know, the, how he talked in the whatever bat movie. And Lauren said that would be perfect. And he <laughs> said, you know what? I'm actually going to save this for our Caldera Labs ad. Yeah. Yeah, it was, he was mad. Lauren Michaels was very mad with, at me for that. We haven't spoken since. So you're going to brush your teeth daily. Incorporating skincare steps before it guarantees to not mess up your routine. So. Caldera Lab creates high-performance men's skincare products, and the Regimen leads their product lineup. It's a twice-a-day routine to transform your skin. So the Regimen uh, with Caldera Lab includes three products, the Clean Slate, the Base Layer, and the Good. The Clean Slate starts and ends your day. This face wash leaves all types of skin type, uh, refreshed. The Base Layer is your daily moisturizer to, to hydrate your skin and jumpstart your day full of confidence, which the confidence thing, I think, would be helpful in an SNL audition. Yeah, absolutely. Unless your you're like bit is you're like a, like a weird, like weaselly coward. Yeah. Then that the confidence might backfire. But yeah. that's, you know. Well, and so that's why I come back to like, I'm not sure. Like, I get the, he might, li- Lauren might like it. And I, okay. And, I, and the reason we're kind of debating it right now is once again, Lauren and I haven't spoken in a while because of me, my refusal to, to do my fantastic Sean Connery slash Bane impression. I think Lauren also can't find his phone. Last time I checked in on him, he doesn't know where he put it down somewhere and he's not exactly sure where. Uh, The good is your go-to multifunctional serum at night that helps your skin look tighter and smoother, as well as helps reduce the visibility of wrinkles and fine lines. So we all know SNL comes on very late at night. This is a perfect way to uh, do a little reset on your skin after the the difficulties of doing a show like that. Um, the Caldera Lab Icon Eye Serum addresses the three most common skin concerns around the eye, which is fine lines, dark circles, and puffiness. 
Uh, Caldera Lab is the leader in men's skin care, made with top-tier ingredients. Clinical trials have found that 94% of men's skin showed an overall younger-looking appearance after using Caldera Lab for a few weeks. And uh, yeah, one one minute, morning and night, that's all it takes to reduce wrinkles, fine lines, and signs of aging. And you might be wondering, okay, well, if my face is looking so good and so clean, then am I going to be getting way too much attention at the after party? Because like, I just want to be like a normal guy for once and like hang out with my friends and like just like chill. And then to have everyone be like, oh, you're so beautiful. You're so great. You were so funny tonight. Ha ha ha. Just because my skin's so good. You know what I mean? So that is a concern. But... I know how to handle it, so it's not a concern. But for our for listeners, me. yeah, like that, that might be a genuine struggle. It, 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 so yeah. I, just once again, it's it's really like I can't give a full, like the, I don't know if SNL is really the mark, like where we want to push this, so far. But like, if you're trying to do an impression of someone who looks a lot like you but younger, I do think the Caldera Lab products are really good. Like I think that's on. That's gonna be the best impression. Uh, just for our audience, we have an exclusive offer, and this is the best offer available anywhere. Use Jock Doc at CalderaLab.com and twen- and get twenty percent off right now. That's twenty percent off with code Jock Doc at CalderaLab.com and make unforgettable first impressions that lead to the charming words, "You look younger." Whether you're at an SNL after party or whatever, uh, get twenty percent off at CalderaLab.com with code Jock Doc. So that was our producer, Cameron. Uh, also with us is Digital in the House. And later, Cameron tells me that we can expect a special guest. Oh, crap. Did I tell you that? Well, you implied it. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, that's totally fine. But before we move on, I would like to address a bit of listener feedback. Dear hosts of the Jock Doc podcast, your medical podcast has taken a very disturbing turn. When are you guys going to die? I would like to be done with this podcast, but I'm a completionist. Yeah, we have been meaning to set a date for that. Um, that's another on the to-do list. I feel like setting a date, that be- then it becomes like a suicide thing, which is sad. But that's not how, like, we both talked about, we know how we're going to die. We're going to do an Evil Knievel-style motorcycle jump over, how many buses? You said? 300, yeah. Yeah, three, which has never been done before. Yeah, or like... Yeah, remotely considered. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, the max is probably like 30 or something. We haven't looked it up, but we're going to do 300. Wow. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening. Now for today's medical topic, pseudobulbar affect. Uh, and that's affect spelled like effect. Um, but pseudobulbar affect is a condition of emotional lability or emotional incontinence. So you've heard of incontinence like peeing your pants, whatever. So this is emotional. You can't control it. So uh, with patients will experience intermittent episodes of inappropriate laughter or crying. And half of patients with ALS, um, which we covered last week, they'll have pseudobulbar affect. Uh, stroke and multiple sclerosis um, can also cause it. So it's some sort of uh, brain or central nervous system defect that uh, affects us. Okay. I recognize this. This is not far off from how you were acting at the haunted house we went to last Halloween. Well, it was so funny. Because you were going, ah, ah. Well, 
if it was funny, that even just proves my point more because you were going, ah, 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 which I've been to lots of haunted houses. I've never actually seen anyone like actually be scared and scream because it's just like, you know, people in their like mid 40s just wearing like wolfman masks and stuff. It's not like a scary thing. You don't think that's scary? A middle aged person just having to do that for their job? Oh gosh, that is scary. Like, they can't afford to have like a job that's not built around spirit Halloween stores and haunted houses. Yeah, I'm I'm just thinking of this economy and everything. Like, I'm I'm thinking through the ravages of capitalism as these guys jump out at me. I'm like, oh, the world is not doing okay. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna concede it's fair. Yeah. So so to treat suitable bar effect. Um, you'll use dextromethorphan um, combined with quinidine, or uh, you can use SSRIs. That's a common class of antidepressants, and they're very calm, or they're, they're also effective in some patients. But uh, yeah, that's suitable or affect. It's, it's more of a um, sort of a symptom more than its own uh, condition, but um, it's definitely a part of some of these ailments. Okay, so... You weren't, you weren't actually, or you were justifiably scared at the haunted house. But what about at the the Nutcracker ballet that we went to last Christmas? Oh, that was the title. I was scared of. Oh, that makes sense because you thought, yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't see any nuts for most of the play, so that threw me off. I kind so of the thought, suspense was there. I kind of thought you'd get scared at like the Rat King or whatever. There's a rat involved in the story, but you th- you were like, "That's basically my brother." Well, I thought it was. I mean, it might be. I don't know. I don't know why we were there. I guess now I'm just connecting. We were watching this ballet because in support of your brother, who was the rat, but you were also screaming. I mean, not f- ninety minutes of it. Yeah. Well, just once. Like I didn't. I was like, okay, when is the when are the nuts going to start dancing out there? It's like, are they holding it back? And the fact they held it back the whole time? What? How is he going to crack them? What, what does that mean for the... And there are nutcrackers involved in the ballet, but just not the actual nuts. You never see them actually crunch a nut. Yeah, well, how would they get the, the name of Nutcracker if there aren't any nuts there, you know? That doesn't make sense. It's very true. I, I'm not a language guy. That makes so much sense. Well, hello there. My name is Dr. LennonSmith.com. This is our producer, Cameron. What was your name? I'm Quentin Fish. All right, uh, Quentin Fish. Uh, hi, hi there. Well, welcome. Um, what, what brings you here today? I'm, uh, I'm just a little frustrated, you know? Oh, you know. finally, someone says it. You know, when uh, you, see, you feel like you're a team, you're a family, and you're working together towards the same goals, and then... You know, your teammates just abandon you and bask in fame and glory, you know, and you just get left behind. Is that, I mean, is, it sounds like that's what happened to you. Can you tell us Oh, I, I did not get that at all from what he, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm Quentin Fish. I'm the employee number three of the Wright Brothers Bicycle Shop, and I've been holding down the fort for a pretty long time while... Employee number one and two get all the credit for making these flying things that I, I really don't think is going to take off. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Yeah, I've seen I've seen these like flying contraptions you're talking about just on YouTube or whatever. They're like flapping their wings. I mean, it's silly. Like we're not birds. We're people like we don't have yes. the ability yes. to do that. We deserve to be on the ground. Yeah, that's what that's where God put us. If God wanted us to fly in the sky, he would have built wings onto our body. Has has a bicycle business you, you make it sound like because your brothers pivoted to whatever flying machine thing that it's made the bicycle business harder. Do people still ride bicycles? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. There's a bicycle craze. Uh 2021 our sales were Top notch with COVID and everything. By the way, wouldn't have spread around a lot if everybody stuck to the ground and didn't fly too much. They weren't in these like weird contraptions. So wait, what do your brothers even do? It sounds like you do everything. I don't know. They 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 sell airplanes. Also, how old are you? I'm 
I'm 260 years old. Oh, wow. So you're way older than your brothers, too. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I say brothers, but, you know, my last name is Fish. Um, I, I consider them my brothers. They don't consider me. Right. Not brother. your brothers, they, but your... They, uh... they consider me a human napkin just to throw away. Your your partners, so your your like business partners, so to speak, but not acquaintances, really. acquaintances, business is acquaintances. Already, already pushing it now. Uh, I, we're we're just three names on a piece of paper at this point. Why are you so against flying? Because I'm not gonna lie, like I totally understand the idea that humans shouldn't be in the sky. That is the bird zone, and we shoot down whatever we see in the sky. Like we we do that, of course, because we believe it, and. Like, you know, I know that when I drop food on the floor, that's not my food anymore. That's my dog's food. That's his Mm -hmm. domain. And when you throw food in the sky. That's the bird's homes. But at the same time, I'm not going to lie. Being able to fly from St. Louis all the way to Kansas City in only 30 minutes while also you have to get to the airport like two hours early and then you got to wait for your luggage and stuff. But like, that's... I, I'm sorry, but the benefits are there. Okay, I, I got a confession to make, all right? I'm, I'm jealous. Okay. <gasps> no. It's just, it's just, just 100 years ago, I, to, I told them off, you know? I was like, we should stick to bicycles. We, just, we should entertain this new flying contraption. And I, yeah. I said that in front of a lot of people and you got to sort of commit to that now yeah and maybe and maybe somewhere in my heart i just wanted to borrow this public forum to say you know i was i was wrong flying is pretty cool okay because i was really ready to double down on this with you um and i still because like yeah i was ready to get rid of flying entirely wait what I was willing to quit ever flying again because you were making it sound so stupid and scary. Wait, I I almost had an emotional breakthrough, but this this kind of brings me back. To- so we one reason why I'm against hand toss pizza is because they throw the pizza in the air, and then it's the birds. Right, it's not your pizza anymore. It captures yet. captures all the birds. They take it back, and over yeah. and over they do this, and I'm like. And, like, I get that you're having your breakthrough or whatever, but, like, I, I have a problem with it. Oh, my God. You're robbing the sky of sky food. Right. And that, I think that is what, is the, what the deal is with airplane food. You yeah, know? No, don't, don't they serve peanuts in those They planes? used to. Now it's pretzels. They, that, that, those, those, those deserve to be bird food. Right. Well, because it's in the air. Because it's in the sky. Yeah. And also, all planes should be um, just... Oh, you know what? I, I do realize that this episode is coming out pretty close to a certain day, a time of year. But, you know. Don't know. Never heard of it. I forgot. Never forget. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's forget this idea of like, oh, I was wrong about the planes. I'm on your side now. I think we need to come up with a plan to sabotage the airline industry, right? I mean, you've been thinking about this for a long time, Quentin. Do you have like a... I got, well, there's this there's one stupid idea I was thinking of, you know? Okay, okay. So I've heard that when you try to get on a plane with too much liquid, you know, 3.1 ounces, more than that, you'll get kicked out, right? So my plan is to convince all these people that they're holding less than 3.1 ounces of water, okay? Like, I, I'm, I'm going to sell a bunch of these bottles, right? And then on, on, a, on, a weekend, on a weekend like this, when everyone's traveling, you know, what I'm going to say, I'm going to go on the ticky talkie and be like, by the way, all your bottles have 3.2 ounces of water. And then pandemonium, right? All the planes got to come down because they're holding way too much water. And I don't know how 3.2 makes a difference, but 
that's what I heard. And it, it's going to bring all the planes down. Everyone's going to be like, ah, I have too much liquid in my pockets. I do see one. I love this idea. I do see one major problem with it in that the law is, I believe, 3.4 ounces. So by saying this is 3.2 ounces, I, I think that is just going to like benefit people. Like you're just sort of helping people out by giving them a good product. So like, like I'll make it 3.5. Big whoop. Okay. Okay. Back to the airline industry. So we're going to, we're going to tank them via giving them too much liquid. Uh, what are some, uh, London, what, what's an idea you got? I see you just shaking in your seat. I'm pretty excited about it. So I've been on flights where there's someone who's has a health problem. So all we do is send a bunch of people with health problems onto planes. Uh, pregnant people, those can set things off. They, they can say they got a rumbly and they're tumbly and suddenly the plane has to go down, you know? Oh, and it just crashes right then and there just when it happens? So, 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 so we, so we get, get like about to burst pregnant people and then we say, you get a free flight to anywhere you yeah. want. And then we, we, we have at least a few of them on yeah. each flight. Yeah. No, that- okay. So to do this, we need to start like a convention for really pregnant women. Who want to go on a flight that will go down. Yes. We've got to find the window where you're still allowed to go on a flight, like wherever in the trimester period is, but you shouldn't probably because you're a little too pregnant. Yeah. And then that's the, what the convention is for. And it has to be in a place that no one lives so that everyone is flying to it. This will guarantee that every flight is grounded. So I guess we could put it, yeah, what's a place where like no, especially no woman lives? I would say London's house, right? Hey. Right? I don't know. Yeah. Yes, but. Oh. Yeah. So, so all the flights that go out of my house, sorry, go to my house. Yeah. Um, headed to your house. And then yes. it'll be like a free flight to London and we won't be lying. Yes. Oh, there that is. is so good. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Okay. Thanks. Well, I think we. Thank you for this God, brainstorm. This thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think we did that. I would say the flip side would be then promoting the biking industry as an alternative to flying. So I would say if you could push a marketing campaign that's like biking, really good for like women in their third trimester. I, I think that just writes itself. Yeah. I mean, I said it right yeah, now. Just, yeah. Just write that down. And. Yeah, and uh, you say it writes itself. If I if that's what it is, then I wrote it. I would like to get some royalties off of that, but you know, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about logistics. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, uh, I, I feel like we are we we've made it. We've we've dotted every I and crossed a T. Um, is there anyone like obviously you want to promote your bicycle shop? Uh, is there anyone else you want to give a shout out to? Anyone you're a fan of, Quentin? Yeah, I want. I want to. I want to. I do a shout out to all, all the all the people that stay on the ground, you know. Uh, right, the true heroes. The true heroes uh, that just lay on the ground and roll around. Um, sometimes on fire, not, but you know, those are the, those are the true heroes. All right, and then also separately, unrelated, uh, there's someone called Kent Marita on social media. I think. Uh. Don't don't remember the handle, but it's something like that. Maybe there's an underscore in there. I I don't remember. Uh, but uh, uh, underscores I love because again they're closer to the ground. Um, yes. Okay. No, so there no would be hyphens, one between no, the two. That, okay. Yeah. Between the two words. All right. Well. Uh, so check that unrelated thing out. And um. All right. Yes. Once again, thank you, Quentin Fish, for being on. Uh, thank you to our producer Cameron. Thank you to Digital on the House. Digital the house. Yeah. Maybe, maybe in maybe somewhere in my car I just wanted to borrow this public forum to say that I, I was I was wrong. So the fly, flying is pretty cool.